Hi, David Campanile here, owner of Campanile Law, located in the state of New Jersey. We handle estate planning and probate. If you'd like to contact me to discuss uh, any estate planning or probate questions or just do a consult because you're interested in an estate plan, contact me at njestateattorney.com or via email at david at campanilelaw.com. So today's topic is uh, about marriage and estate planning. Uh, kind of more or less, are there benefits to being married and estate planning? And really, um, this is kind of going to be blunt, uh, blunt video, um, cause at the end of the day, you know, love is an emotion we all feel. So I'm just trying to give you guys the nuts and bolts of it, not trying to put love into the mix. So if you are, uh, you know, a single person and you're in a relationship and you don't want to be married, that your boyfriend or girlfriend doesn't have the same rights as a married individual. So what does that mean? If you are in, we're going to use um, a car accident, for example, where if you're in a car accident and you're um, in a coma for a very long time, your boyfriend or girlfriend, and let's say you don't have a joint account, you were paying all of the bills out of your personal account, um, your boyfriend or girlfriend won't be able to just go take money out of your personal account to pay the bills and the rent or the mortgage. Um, the same goes the hospital won't be able to speak to that individual because um, you're not married. So that person couldn't make decisions for you. So if you are um, – in a relationship, but you don't want to get married for whatever your per your reasons are, um, what you need to do is really create a, uh, a power of attorney and a medical power of attorney to nominate your your significant other, so that got remaining on the car accident um, example or scenario so they can access your bank accounts to pay the bills and continue to live so they can communicate with the doctors because how the law, we all have some sort of plan in place under the law. Um, and under the law, nowhere does it say boyfriend or girlfriend or significant other. Um, the other thing goes to your will. If you're not married, and you don't have a will, under the law, the takers would be common children, um, would be your children, your parents, your nieces, your nephews, aunts, uncles. Nowhere again does it say significant other or boyfriend, girlfriend. Remember, we're talking about you aren't married. So you would want to build into your will that this person, your significant other, gets uh, something, uh, and you would want a will because that is also going to protect them as well. Now, the other thing is if you have significant assets and everything, there prob there are some ways that you could create trusts and other, um, ways that everybody's different. But when you're married, you kind of get a few things. It's not too much, but your spouse can take, if you pass without a will gets everything. Um, or up to a certain amount and then parents or children, um, in your will, you can give every, leave everything to your spouse. Um, the other thing, uh, excuse me, that your spouse can commute, would be able to pay bills because, uh, you are married. So normally you'd have a joint bank account, but you'd also appoint that person. If you have any individual accounts to be able to under your power of attorney to access those accounts, if those are the accounts you pay your bills through, um, you also, your spouse would be able to communicate with doctors um, if they are, if something were to happen to you like the car accident situation. The other thing about being married is, at least in the state of New Jersey, currently there is no estate tax. That was eliminated back in 2018. However, there is a marital exempt, uh, estate tax exemption where your entire estate can pass to your spouse without them paying a an estate tax to the state of New Jersey. There also is an unlimited ma uh, federal marital 
a state tax exemption. So you could pass everything to your spouse without penalty um, if you're married. Um, so that's kind of, I, I would say, one of the perks. Um, if that's really how you're thinking, if you're going to, I don't know, do so, get married because of estate planning needs, um, maybe you should speak to your estate planning attorney, your family attorney. Um, and so the moral of the story is there are some benefits to being married in estate planning, but it's not enough to justify almost uh, getting married for the sake of estate planning. Um, if you like this video, please hit the like button, send this, uh, share it out to people. I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, if you are going through something like this where you're contemplating questions about marriage and estate planning, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'd love to sit down and talk to you about your estate planning needs, about what's going on, um, put you on the right road. Um, if, uh, if you would like to contact me regarding this topic or any other topics regarding estate planning or probate, contact me at njestateattorney.com or send me an email at david at campaneillaw.com. As always, I'm David Campanile, owner of Campanile Law, located in the great state of New Jersey.